Can you identify this memorial? Is it Crazy Horse Memorial, Wild Horse Memorial, Geronimo Memorial, or Indian Memorial? It is the Crazy Horse Memorial, located in Custer County, South Dakota. The Crazy Horse Memorial is a mountain monument under construction, on privately held land in the Black Hills, in Custer County, South Dakota, United States. It will depict the Oglala Lakota warrior, Crazy Horse, riding a horse and pointing into the distance. The memorial was commissioned by Henry Standing Bear, a Lakota elder, to be sculpted by Korchak Zielkowski. It is operated by the Crazy Horse Memorial Foundation, a nonprofit organization. Name the largest black water swamp in North America. Is it Barley Barber Swamp, Okefenokee Swamp, Congaree Swamp, or Parsnip Swamp? The answer is, the Okefenokee Swamp located in Georgia. The Okefenokee Swamp is a shallow, 438,000 acre, peat filled wetland straddling the Georgia Florida line in the United States. The Okefenokee Swamp is considered to be one of the seven natural wonders of Georgia. The Okefenokee is the largest blackwater swamp in North America. Can you name the Kill Devil Hills Monument? which signifies an important milestone in aviation industry. The answer is, the Wright Brothers Memorial located in Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Wright Brothers National Memorial, located in Kill Devil Hills, commemorates the first successful, sustained, Powered flights and a heavier than air machine. From 1900 to 1903, Wilbur and Orville Wright came here from Dayton, Ohio, based on information from the U.S. Weather Bureau about the area's steady winds and also it had all the elements that they needed to safely and secretly learn how to fly wind, sand, and isolation. Name the largest privately owned house in the United States, which is visited by more than a million visitors every year. Is it the White House, Ohika Castle, Biltmore Estate, or Arden House? The answer is, the Biltmore Estate located in Asheville, North Carolina. Biltmore Estate is a historic house museum and tourist attraction in Asheville, North Carolina. Biltmore House the main residence, is a shadow-esque style mansion built for George Washington Vanderbilt II between 1889 and 1895 and is the largest privately owned house in the United States. Which Native American woman monument is this? Is it Pocahontas, Sarawinamaka, Nanyehi, or Sacagawea? It is a monument of Sacagawea, located in Limhi County, Idaho. Sacagawea was an important member of the Lewis and Clark Expedition. The National American Woman Suffrage Association of the early 20th century adopted her as a symbol of women's worth and independence, erecting several statues and plaques in her memory, and doing much to spread the story of her accomplishments. The Limhi County Historical Museum contains artifacts and information about this Native American woman who helped Lewis and Clark discover the Northwest Territory. Name the fort, which was the location of an important battle for Texans, fighting for independence from Mexico. The answer is, the Alamo located in San Antonio, Texas. 
The Alamo is a historic Spanish mission and fortress compound founded in the 18th century by Roman Catholic missionaries in San Antonio, Texas, United States. In 1836, around 200 Texan volunteers, gave their lives fighting against a 13-day siege, by Mexican General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. The Texans lost the battle, but they ultimately won their bid for independence, with Remember the Alamo as their rallying cry. Can you name the longest river in U.S., which also gives its name to one of the states? Is it Mississippi, Texas, Missouri, or Ohio? The answer is, the Missouri River. The Missouri River running for 2,540 miles is the longest river in North America. Rising in the Rocky Mountains of western Montana, the Missouri flows east and then south, before entering the Mississippi River, north of St. Louis, Missouri. The river drains a sparsely populated, semi-arid watershed of more than 500,000 square miles, which includes parts of 10 U.S. states and two Canadian provinces. This 102-story building derives its name from the nickname of the state, where it is located. Can you name it? The answer is, the Empire State Building located in New York City, New York. The Empire State Building is the 102-story Art Deco skyscraper in Midtown Manhattan, in New York City. It was designed by Shreve, Lamb and Harmon and built from 1930 to 1931. Its name is derived from Empire State, the nickname of the state of New York. Which one of these is the longest cave system in the world? Is it Fint Cave, Jewel Cave, Binkley's Cave, or Mammoth Cave? The answer is, the Mammoth Cave located in Edmondson County, Kentucky. Mammoth Cave, located in Mammoth Cave National Park, is the world's longest known cave system with more than 400 miles of surveyed passageways, which is nearly twice as long as the second longest cave system, Mexico's Sac Action Underwater Cave. Which is the highest paved road, in North America? The answer is, the Mount Evan Scenic Byway. The Mount Evan Scenic Byway, just 60 miles west of Denver, is the highest paved road in North America. The Mount Evan Scenic Byway, climbs over 7,000 feet in its 28-mile length, reaching an altitude of 14,130 feet. Idaho Springs serves as a starting point to the byway. This drive offers visitors, scenic views of the Continental Divide, mountain goat and bighorn sheep herds, wildflowers, and the Rocky Mountain Bristle Cone Pine Trees. John Adams and Abigail Adams were the first residents of this most famous house in the world. Can you name it? The answer is, the White House located in Washington, D.C. The White House is the official residence and workplace of the President of the United States. It is located at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest in Washington, D.C., and has been the residence of every U.S. President since John Adams in 1800. Name the first modern, fully enclosed shopping mall in U.S., and also supposedly, the first in the world? The answer is, the Southdale Center located in Edina, Minnesota. Southdale Center in Edina, Minnesota first opened its doors in 1956. It was designed by Victor Grun, a commercial architect. The mall is both the first and the oldest, fully enclosed, climate-controlled shopping mall in the United States.
which is the longest two-span covered bridge in the world, and also the longest wooden bridge in the United States. The answer is, the Windsor Cornish Covered Bridge located in Vermont. Windsor Cornish Covered Bridge spans the Connecticut River between Windsor, Vermont, and Cornish and New Hampshire. At 465 feet, it is the longest two-span covered bridge in the world and the longest wooden bridge in the United States. Falling from a height of 900 meters, this seasonal waterfall is considered the tallest in United States. Can you name it? Is it Niagara Falls, Yosemite Falls, Colonial Creek Falls, or Alapena Falls? The answer is, the Olapina Falls located in Hawaii. Olopina Falls, is a waterfall located in the northeastern part of Hawaiian island of Malakai, and this 2,953 feet waterfall is unofficially cited as the fourth highest waterfall in the world, and the highest in the United States. With over 500 stores, this is the largest and most visited shopping mall in U.S. Can you name it? The answer is, Mall of America located in Minnesota. Mall of America in Bloomington is so much more than a mall, it's a destination. Although it has 520 stores and 60 restaurants, it also features dozens of fun attractions including a 13-screen movie theater, an indoor theme park, a simulator ride that soars over national landmarks, Minnesota's largest aquarium, arcades, mini golf and a whole lot more. Open for public in 1858, this city park is one of the most visited destination, and largely popularized through movies, from Hollywood. Can you name it? The answer is, the Central Park located in New York City, New York. Located among the tall buildings in the heart of the city of New York, Central Park, covering 843 acres, is the one of the most visited and most popular city park. After being approved in 1853 for developing the park, its first areas were open to the public in late 1858. Currently, its main attractions include the Ramble and Lake, Hallett Nature Sanctuary, the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Reservoir, and Sheep Meadow, amusement attractions such as Wallman Rink, Central Park Carousel, and the Central Park Zoo. Among these, which is the most visited theme park in the world? Is it Magic Kingdom Park, Legoland, Everland, or Universal Orlando Resort? The answer is Magic Kingdom Park, located in Orlando, Florida. Opened in 1971. Magic Kingdom Park is a theme park at Walt Disney World Resort, featuring classic attractions, enchanting fireworks, musical breeds and Disney characters. The Magic Kingdom is divided into six distinct areas, arranged in a spoke-like formation, all meeting at the top of Main Street USA right in front of Cinderella Castle. The six lands consist of Main Street USA, Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, Frontierland, Liberty Square, and Adventureland. Each land is themed to its appropriate title and maintaining that theme is paramount to the park's operation. First held on December 31, 1907, to welcome 1908, this location is famous for the ball drop on New Year's Eve to welcome the new year. Can you name it? The answer is, Times Square located in New York City, New York. Formerly known as Longacre Square, Times Square was renamed in 1904, after the New York Times moved its headquarters to the newly erected Times Building. 
Times Square is one of the world's most visited tourist attractions, drawing an estimated 50 million visitors annually. Nearly 380,000 pedestrians enter the heart of Times Square each day and on the busiest days, it is as high as 450,000. So no wonder, Times Square is sometimes referred as the crossroads of the world. A national park is named after the trees, you see in this image. Can you name the national park? Is it Sequoia National Park, Joshua Tree National Park, Redwood National Park, or Congaree National Park? The answer is Joshua Tree National Park, located in California. Two distinct desert ecosystems, the Mojave and the Colorado, come together in Joshua Tree National Park. Joshua trees were named for the biblical figure Joshua, by 19th century Mormon settlers, who felt the outstretched tree limbs guided them, along their westward journey. Joshua trees usually have a single trunk, and grow 3 to 9 feet tall before branching. In fact, Joshua trees aren't actually trees, they're succulents, a type of plant that stores water. In their dry ecosystems however, they are considered trees of the desert. Can you name the river walk in Texas, which is aptly called as American Venice? Is it East River Walk, Dallas River Walk, Milwaukee River Walk, or San Antonio River Walk? The answer is the San Antonio River Walk, located in the state of Texas. The San Antonio River Walk is a city park, a network of walkways along the banks of the San Antonio River, one story beneath the streets of San Antonio. Lined by shops, restaurants, nature, public artwork, and the five historic missions, the River Walk is an important part of the city's urban fabric and a tourist attraction in its own right. This River Walk in Texas' second largest city, is also called as American Venice. With this we have to the end of this video. We hope to bring you more videos like this for you and your kids. If you like our video, please do press the like button, and for more videos please do subscribe to our Nike Media channel, and press the bell button for notifications. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Bye for now.